Shame, shame, shame on Burberry. They've got the message these protesters were shouting about so loudly last year. Burberry will no longer use real fur in any of its collections. And the British luxury brand will also stop burning unsold goods. The sharing of ostentatious wealth may still be a factor in people buying these goods, but they still want a green uh, backing to what they are doing. They want to make sure that this wealth is not shown off at all costs, and therefore they're able to wear these coats or these handbags or this perfume, regardless of what it may be, with a certain amount of conscience. In July, Burberry admitted destroying almost $29 million worth of unwanted items in a single year to prevent them being sold at below market prices and devaluing the brand. Now it's promising to reuse, repair, donate and recycle them instead and also work to develop more sustainable materials. You look at the Nike campaign that's currently ongoing in, and getting a lot of heat uh, on social media at the moment. It's polarising opinion about whether you should go for it or whether you should not. But in the grand scheme of things, this is the advent of brands becoming more and more socially aware and something which is more in keeping with the people who will be buying their goods uh, for the next 40, 50, 60 years. Stella McCartney is considered the trailblazer when it comes to removing real fur. Gucci and Versace recently followed her example. Burberry's decision was welcomed by PETA, which supports the ethical treatment of animals. The campaign group said it was a sign of the times. Fashion houses, it seems, can't afford to not be on trend in all aspects of their business. Shame, 